This is Masinlok School on the Air in collaboration with Servision Photog Radio, DWSP 101.5 News Japan. Our teacher broadcasters for this part, Teacher Rinaline Hidalgo and Teacher Mary Christine Ignacio of Bambay National High School. Good day, Masinlok Zambales. Good day to our dear grade 10 learners. You're listening to Masinlok on the Air, Sir Vision Photog Radio, DWSP 101.5 News FM. I am Mary Christine C. Ignacio and Rinalin Robana Hidalgo from Bamban National High School. At your service! We would like to acknowledge our Department of Education writer for our module, Sir Estanislao P. Sareno, Jr. Get ready, learners. Prepare your notebook and pen so that you can take down all the important details in our lesson. Find a comfortable place where you can listen and study properly. Welcome to our new mathematics adventure. We are now on the third week of the last quarter for this school year 2020-2021. Today's lesson is all about interpreting measures of position. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to interpret measures of position. Now let's begin our mathematics adventure! Welcome to Mathematics Adventure! 5 seconds to enter the world of math! Learn by adventure! Unstoppable! Legendary! Let's start with recall. Level 1 which of the following statement is true? A. Percentile 10 is equal to quartile 1 B. Decile 3 is equal to quartile 3 C. Quartile 3 is equal to percentile 75 or letter D. Percentile 50 is equal to decile 2 Very good! That's letter C. It's Quartile 3 is equal to percentile 75. Victory! Level 2 During the mastery test in Mathematics 10 for week 1 and 2, quartile 1 equals 30. How many students belong to first quartile if their scores are 12, 15, 11, 13, 10, 18, 11, 17, 11 and 13. Correct! There are six students belong to quartile 1 when scores are ranged from lowest to highest. Victory! Level 3. The upper quartile can be equal into what percentile? Excellent! We have 75th percentile. Victory! Level 4 Which quartile determines 50% of the data? That's right! It is on the second quartile. Victory! Level 5 The median score can also be equal to what decile? You're definitely right. It's 5th decile. Victory! Level 6. To interpret measures of position, we need to be familiar with the percentiles, deciles, and quartiles. First, the percentile. Percentile divides the data distribution into 100 equal parts. Percentile 1 is 1% 1 of the given data. Percentile 10 is 10%. Percentile 50 is 50%, or the median score of the data. 
and so on and so forth up to percentile 99 or 99 percent for example department of tourism region 3 promotes tourism amid this pandemic by visiting the famous landmarks across the region through bikers two registered bikers in each province in region 3 are entitled to be part of the said advocacy here are the recorded days consumed by the bikers in visiting the 10 famous landmarks in Region 3. Now, let's try to solve a problem using the concept of percentile. Using the table, if percentile 40 equals 9 days, how many bikers belong to percentile 40? Correct! There are 7 bikers who belong to percentile 40. To solve the problem, we have step 1, arrange the days consumed by the bikers in an increasing order. So we have the following data. Step 2, if percentile 40 equals 9, this means the bikers that belong to percentile 40 consumed 9 days or less, or in symbol we have, percentile 40 is less than or equal to 9. Step 3. Count the bikers who consumed 9 days or less. Therefore, there are 7 bikers who belong to percentile 40. Victory! Level 7. Next, quartile. Quartile divides the data distribution into 4 equal parts. Quartile 1 or Q1 or the lower quartile is 25% of the data. Quartile 2 or Q2 or middle quartile represents the 50% of the data. And Q3 or also known as the upper quartile occupies the 75% of the data. For example, we assess that the entrance exam of BNHS is so difficult. There are 500 takers, including her. Her score is 60 out of 80 and belongs to the first quartile. Would you agree with Mia that the test is difficult? Let's answer this guide questions to help us understand the problem and interpret the data. The first guide question, if the passing was 75%, would she have passed the test? So we will compute for her equivalent grade. And that is to divide her score to 80 times 100. So we have 60 by 80 times 100 is equal to 75%. So if the passing score is 75%, and Mia got 75%, therefore, she passed the test. Next, what about the percentage of the test takers failed the test? Since Mia is on the first quartile with 75%, then 25% of the takers failed. Third guide question, did the majority of the class pass or fail? 75% of the class passed while 25% failed. Therefore, the majority of the class passed the test. Last question. Was the test easy or difficult? Since 75% of the takers passed the test, therefore, the exam is considered easy. Victory! Level 8 Lastly, the decile. Decile divides the data distribution into 10 equal parts. Decile 1 represents 10% of the data. Decile 5 is 50% and decile 9 is 90% of the data distribution. Let's have another example. Calculate decile 4 of the mathematics test scores of students taking modular distance learning, then interpret. That's right! Decile 4 equals 30 and 2100. 
To complete the frequency distribution table, we must fill in the lower boundaries or LB by subtracting 5 tenths to the lower scores of the class interval. For instance, to get 14 and 5 tenths, we subtract 5 tenths to 15, and so on, up to 50 minus 5 tenths equals 49 and 5 tenths. To get less than cumulative frequency, we should start with the lower row of the frequency as 2 plus 4 to get 6, then 6 plus 5 to get 11, 11 plus 7 equals 18, and so on and so forth, up to 29 plus 1 to get exactly 30. Victory! To find where the decile 4 class fall, we substitute value of n, or the total frequency, which is 30, to the formula 4 times n divided by 10. So we have 4 times 30 equals 120 divided by 10 is 12. Next is to find the class interval where the 12th score is contained. There you go! The 12th to the 18th score belong to the class interval 30 to 34. So, the 12th score is also within the class interval. Thus, the class interval 30 to 34 belongs to the decile 4. Now we have given values LB or lower boundary of decile 4 class equals to 29 and 5 tenths. Cumulative frequency before the decile 4 class equals 11. F or the frequency of decile 4 class equals to 7. And I which stands for the size of the class interval equals 5. Substitute the given values to the formula. Decile 4 equals lower boundary plus quantity 4 times n by 10 minus the value of the cumulative frequency before the decile class divided by the frequency times the size of the class interval. So we have decile 4 equals 29 and 5 tenths plus the quantity 12 minus 11 over 7 times 5. By applying GEMDAS, we have 12 minus 11 divided by 7 times 5 plus 29 and 5 tenths equals 30 and 21 hundredths. So we have decile 4 equals 30 and 21 hundredths. Interpretation Since decil 4 equals 30 and 21 hundreds, therefore, 40% of the students who took the mathematics test got the score of 30 and below. Victory! And that's the end of our mathematics adventure for today. Congratulations, dear learners! You are now ready to answer the fun and exciting activities in our module. That's all about interpreting measures of position. Always remember, Measures of position give a range where a certain percentage of the data fall. Percentile divides the data distribution into 112 parts. Decile divides the data distribution into 10 equal parts. Quartile divides the data distribution into 4 equal parts. Percentile, decile, and quartile means a less than or equal to, or in symbol we have, while percentile rank means greater than or equal to or in symbol we have. To our dear parents and guardians, thank you for your support and help to our beloved learners. We are open for your questions regarding our lessons. Just send a message to us through our cell phone numbers and class group chat. 
Once again, I am Mary Christine C. Ignacio. And I am Rinalyn Rabana Hidalgo, your radio teachers from Bamban National High School. Thank you and God bless.